After 18 years of hauling the anchor up with our manual windlass, we decide, in Rhodes, Greece, to upgrade to an electric one. We consider a windlass essential for a cruising boat, because it will safely handle the chain and anchor, and does the heavy lifting for you. But over the years, we have come to realize a manual windlass, although it is good exercise, has some disadvantages. The biggest being you are tempted to accept a marginal anchorage is okay. With an electric windlass, you can easily decide to raise the anchor again and make sure you have it right. And you can't beat the convenience. So after planning the install, first job was to remove the old windlass, leaving some holes in the deck. I spent a few days filling the holes and fairing the deck to accept the new windlass. Then we are ready to install the new unit, a Lumar V3. So I've gone and changed this forward locker. We had a manual windlass and uh, it had a, had a bulkhead and everything. So I've cleared off the um, inner area, fared it smooth, and then made up a little platform to put this one on, on top of the deck, down below. Make room for this motor and there's plenty of room in here. So I've got shims, so we're going to just, I've measured the angle to get the correct angle from down here. So with these shims on this side, it'll be correct and it's up like that. Now we have cables, and this is really important to get this correct. These are really big wires, ring grade copper wire, that will allow the voltage, the tremendous current this draws, up to 100 amps, to come all the way from the battery. So this is... 50 square millimeter wire, which is called a zero gauge, and they will come on here. I've already run them through the boat, and uh, they weigh quite a bit actually, but they've run through all the lockers, and they're all uh, ready to go. And then we'll be able to give it a try. No more manual windlass. No more winching. After our passage to Malta, it's great to have the new windlass working when we anchor in Malta's Blue Lagoon. Lowering the anchor, great thing about the windlass is it's got a power down feature. So we're going to let out the right amount of scope. There you go, anchored perfect. And now the moment we've all been waiting for, when a simple push of the button will raise the anchor again. Really one of the biggest advantages of the windlass is you can do everything without touching the chain. So this is excellent. It's handling everything, dropping the chain down below 